I'd like to welcome President George W. Bush's uh, head of the Council of Economic Advisors, Ed Lazier. Ed, 312,000 jobs, the unemployment rate moved up two tens, wages year over year at 3.2, and we continue to hover at a 10-year high on employment to population ratio at 60.6. Comment on Friday's jobs report. Well, obviously, it was a, a very strong report. Uh, you talked about the employment to population ratio. That's the number I always look at. That's, that's looking really good at 60.6. Uh, you know, because of demographics, you know, guys at the older end of the distribution are dropping out of the labor force. We're never going to get back to the previous level, but 60.8, you know, possibly 61 would be about the peak right now. So. We're very close to it. The, the good news in terms of job growth is the way you want to think about it is the last three months have been about 250,000. The last year was at about 220,000. We only need about 140,000 to keep up with population. So these numbers are really excellent, uh, you know, not just the one-month number, but actually the three-month number. The other thing you mentioned, uh, Rick, is the uh, wage growth. Uh, of course, we love to see wage growth. The question uh, that people always ask is whether this is inflationary. You know, I always point out that it's not inflationary if it's lower than the target rate plus the rate of productivity growth, and that would be at about 3.5%. So the 3.2% year-over-year wage growth that we're seeing is not yet uh, pushing the Fed in the direction of having to worry about inflation. Well, if you only think we can get up to maybe 61%, on employment to population, which is only another, what, four tenths. Yeah. Do you think that the, uh, the notion of pulling more people back in the labor force, uh, which would actually keep the unemployment rate the same or higher, do you think that phase is over or is there more to come? And this is an important aspect to consider. Absolutely. Well, you know, I'm reluctant to say it's over, and here's why. If you think back a few years ago, you and I kept talking about how there were people out there who could come back into the labor force. Other people, you know, some of my distinguished colleagues, people I respect a lot, were saying exactly the opposite, that this was a structural problem, no way these guys are coming back. Uh, and, you know, people have referred to that work. Now, that was just dead wrong. I mean, those people did come back. It, the best thing to look at to see that is the uh, participation rate and the employment rate of the people who are 25 to 34 years old. Those were the guys we were worried about. And that's back up almost to pre-recession levels right now. So uh, those people came back in, it's almost five percentage point increase. So, you know, you hate to say, well, it can't continue. Obviously, you know, it's not going to continue forever. We're at a, a much more mature phase of the recovery than we were a few years back. But uh, there's still some slack out there, and the fact that employment growth is so high relative to population growth tells me that we're, we're still moving in a positive direction, at least on that measure. Ed, were you able to observe any of the panel with Janet Yellen, Ben Bernanke, and Jay Powell uh, that we all yeah. watched yeah. on Friday that gave the market confidence? Can you, in the last minute, will you give me your observations? Well, I, you know, I, I was encouraged that uh, the chairman uh, was, became a little bit more flexible. And, and the reason for it is this. Um, you know, I like to watch the market. I, I, I spent a lot of my life when I was in the government doing forecasting. That's what part of the job of the Council of Economic Advisors was, is to put out the forecast. And, you know, I mean, those forecasts are notoriously uh, bad, even though they're as good as anybody else's forecast. But the best forecast is the market. And when you see the market drop, as much as it did, you know, 15, 17 percent over a three-month period, that's telling you something. And to ignore that, not for the purpose of manipulating the, the market, that's a different story. You know, so people always say, oh, we've got to lower rates so that the market will go up. No, the point is that the market is giving us signals, and the Fed chair, I thought, was a little bit more open to that than he had been the week before. I thought he was a little bit stubborn about that the week before and a little more uh, open-minded about it this week. So that was good news. Yes. You, you know, many of us who had old cars remember when you flooded the carburetor. We're going to talk about that on my next piece, the solo <laughs> exchange, about how that's exactly what the Fed is confronted with. Ed Lazier, thank you.